The first line of this area is 24 feet to the right, and you press enter one time. And in our last video, I skipped right past this by pressing enter again to anchor that dimension. In this video, I want to show you why we have you press enter a couple times. You can place this with your mouse. You can place the dimension with your arrow keys. You can rotate the dimension by pressing the letter R, and that will rotate it in 45 degrees. Shift R will rotate it in 5 degrees, and Control Shift R will rotate it in 1 degree. And if you get into a position where you can't quite get it straight again, you can press V for vertical, H for horizontal, and for those angled lines, you can press P for parallel. But once you're happy with this, oh, let's talk about making it larger by pressing your plus key, making it smaller by pressing your minus key. And once you're happy with its position and orientation, you can press enter to anchor it in place and you're ready to draw your next line. The next distance is 9.8 feet down and you'll notice that, that dimension automatically rotates. I'll press enter one time to anchor the line, press enter again to anchor the dimension. Four feet to the left, enter one time, I'm going to move this above the line, press enter to anchor it in place. 7.2 feet down, enter twice, 10 feet to the right, enter twice, 3 feet down, enter twice, 10 feet to the right, enter twice, 35 feet down. Oops, we've drawn off the drawing port, but that's okay. All you have to do is press enter to anchor the line and dimension, then press C to center the sketch. Now it's 20 feet to the left, 8 feet up, 6 feet to the left, and 6 feet down. So now you have a really good grasp of methods of input. Architectural input, engineering input, the drawing of lines, the placement and rotation and sizing of the dimensions themselves. And in our next video, we'll talk about angles. Angles that are easy, such as bay windows, and those not so easy angles, such as wings and properties that you run into from time to time in the field that just drive you crazy. We'll see you next time.